Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how to compile one of these nice looking tables in academic journals which contains many different models. For that purpose I created a very simple example and I'm gonna show you. Let's gonna start it. First of all I plug in the example and so Next step is to regress or to estimate your regression models, right? So I'm going to show you how to run a few models and then I store them into one single table. In this example, I just regress my dependent variable on the independent, you can see over here. And then furthermore, I store the estimation in C1, right? Let's see what happened. Nothing new happened, so far everything is clear, right? So we have here the output and let's continue. And I do that with even six more models until here. And let's see what happened. Well, now I have seven singular models, which explains my dependent variable. But now I want to add them all into one single table to publish them into my dissertation or whatever you like to do with them. And for that purpose, please install the command outrec2. Okay. And I'm going to explain the command real quick for you. Um, outrec2 and then the C star means it contains all the stored estimations using output that's just the name of the output table i get i could be more creative right here and then the best part of outrec2 command is that it actually opens the output table directly into excel which is very nice because you can work on it afterwards which is quite nice and further, you can add some statistical values like adjusted R square or the usual R square. And there are even more values to add, which I'm going to explain you in a few seconds. Now let's run the outrec2 command. And let's put here on C out. And then we have our compiled table which contains seven different models. Furthermore, you automatically see the statistic, the statistic significance level, which means here three, three stars, the GDP is significant on the 1% level. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know how to, how to call that. Okay, that's pretty much it for this beginner part. Now, if you want to continue watching this video, I'm going to show you how to do that in a little bit more advanced research way. For that purpose, I just clear the starter and let's go into the do file. I'm going to use the same example just plug it in and what I did here I did run a usual regression right one independent variable and the dependent variable and then I add some technical stuff which you should copy too and don't forget to install the outrec2 command right and use the outrec2 command using then you just put in a name which you want to call your document. I use rec my regression Botswana. Let's call it three because I used it already somewhere. And then replace a text. Now you can even more add a text even more into your table. IV stands for instrumental variable. Did I use an instrumental variable? No, right? Did I use control variables? No. 
and then you can add some more statistical values like r square or r adjusted r square the f test and so on right and the same the same model i run with an additional variable and using outrec2 command instead of replace i add a pen to it right and then i run the same um, commands over here into this one right so let's see what happens if i run the model uh, the four commands let's click on cart and then i have the nice looking compiled table which contains right now only two models right so then i have here oh i see a mistake the variables is called iv here so i can quickly change that sorry for that c title is here called not iv but it's called or less right so that should make it clear again so let's go back to the c out um yeah and oh i forgot also here the um, to add the f test and the, to add that into the second model but you can have the do file if you see the description box just text me and i will send you the do file and then you can add that on your own i think you are skilled enough to do so and that's pretty much it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you i guess and yeah, thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.